Hey guys, welcome back. It's Desmond from Massage Pro Medical back with another product review. Uh, usually I would say it's a little bit quicker, but I think this one might take a little bit longer. Um, we're actually going to take a look at the uh, Normatec Pulse 2.0 recovery boots as well as their uh, book bag carrying case. So if you like what you're seeing, uh, please feel free to hit a like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned to all the future product reviews we have going on. Um, but for now, let's get started. Okay, so um, what I've done is actually taken some, some snippets of me using the boots on a separate video, which you'll see after um, this particular video airs. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the things that you're going to encounter. So let's just look at the actual book bag itself. As you can see, this kind of looks like a normal book bag. It's pretty standard. Um, but this is an alternative carrying case for the Normatec compression boots. Uh, they also have a rectangular carrying case that you carry from the top down, which is more common. But for someone like me or, you know, a gym goer that wants something a little bit more convenient, something easy to just throw over your shoulder and go, I think this is pretty cool, um, especially if you're traveling to, uh, you know, across state lines, you're flying uh, and you're already packing with everything else in your luggage. This is something a little bit more simple and efficient. Um, some of it is kind of constructed out of hard foam in certain areas. Uh, this <laughs> cover right here is clipped on with two uh, clips and you can easily slide uh, some credit cards or, or small papers in here for any minor documentation or receipts uh, when you're traveling. Um, so that's pretty standard and simple. Uh, you take these clips off, it reveal another opening where you can store things in, uh, loose articles, pens, socks, whatever you can. Um, and then there's also a section right on the side just above it for you to store. You can store your laptop probably in here. Oh, actually, uh, I'm sure I looked at this myself. Um, even in here, you can store more throughout this zip, zip packaging. So this is pretty convenient with all these extra dimensions to it. Um, right above here is where you would store your power charger, uh, the cable, and plug in to recharge your Normatec. Um, I'm not gonna bother opening that, but it's hard shell, so even if you weren't carrying the power cable of the Normatec and you wanted to put something in here that you want that you want to protect, this would be pretty good. Um, there are pockets on the side, so if you want to hold your water bottle, um, that also works. And let's see, now you can actually look inside. Okay, now we're going to take a look inside the bag, and then we'll cover into the actual Normatec unit itself. So take through the big zipper. Comes all the way through the bottom. Um, let's see, when you open it up, let's see if you can get it. Everything fits inside, so I'm gonna just take things out so you can see. Uh, the Normatec, if you're buying just the Pulse 2.0, comes with uh, the leg boots only. Uh, the other attachments, which would be the hip and the arm, are sold separately. They'll range about 300 to 350 bucks, so I would choose wisely. Um, but they'll come packaged separately. Um, that reminds me, the bag is something you pay for separately. It's about 150 bucks. Um, so it was the carrying case one, so it's kind of an either or. If you're buying the Pulse 2.0, that's all you're getting, which is these boots, the connector tube, and the Normatec unit itself. Um, the bag comes with this removable hard shell to protector for it, so you can use it without the bag or with it. This is the unit in question. 
Um, like we talked, the power cable's already inside. So these are rechargeable. Um, battery life, I did not look at, but I've used them in the past and uh, continual use, in my experience, will last you a few days before you need to actually charge it. Um, if you're using it constantly, maybe less so. But you can get some pretty good mileage out of the charge. Um, you just plug, um, to recharge it, you just plug it in at the bottom. Um, it, it charges pretty quick within an hour or two. Um, they also have an app that connects to this now. So you can manage everything from here, but if you, for some reason you just felt particularly lazy, you can use the phone app. And I'll put a screenshot of what that looks like, but it looks pretty much like the same thing. So I'm gonna turn this on. You'll see that it has the boots in each chamber. Um, so you can monitor where it's being compressed. Uh, it has a timer and a pressure setting. So, and the play button, to which means to start it or, or pause it. And uh, each button on the side, positive and negative, so you can increase the time or pressure as it goes. Um, so this is pretty standard for them, for the Normatex. I do like that they have a Bluetooth connectivity. I, I don't know why. It just seems so, like that seems to be the trend for a lot of the Hyperice products so that it allows you a degree of control from your smartphone. Um, and it's pretty simple. That, that, that's it. I mean, you get these, this unit, put it in its hard shell. It's pretty well guarded after that. And put the boots back in. Or if you get the hip or arm attachments, um, I don't think all of them would fit in here at the same time, all of those attachments, but I'm sure you can get pretty creative uh, with either carrying case. And then you just close it right back up. So Normatex before, uh, I would say even before the acquisition by by Hyper Ice were pretty expensive. I was seeing them upwards to 1600 bucks. Uh, right now, the Pulse 2.0 by itself, just the legs and, and the unit are running to about 995. You can get them at Best Buy, you can get them online at their site. Um, like I said, the boot bag is about 150 bucks. Um, I have to say, I, I, I like them. I've, I've always been a fan of Normatex. Um, they were just always outside of my price range. Um, now they do have payment plans, so it makes it a bit easier. Um, I also like the convenience of it being rechargeable, um, which if you see in my review of the Air Relax, that was kind of the only knock I had on that is that you had to plug it in and you really were limited to where you were plugging it in at. Um, both units, uh, both the Air Relax and the Normatec are great. Um, I think Normatec looks a little bit more modern, where Air, uh, Air Relax has a little bit more of an analog display, but they both do the job. Um, and it's just whatever's in your price range. Uh, if you want to take a look at the Air Relax video, I'll put a link at the bottom so you can go and take a look at that. But um, if, if, if you have the means, pick up the Normatex and then um, you can get the widget whatever attachment you want based on your preference. They also have one where you can get all the attachments and I'm pretty sure that one's close to 1600 bucks. But um, I like using them and I think you'd like using them too. So I'll put in a quick video. It's really nothing shocking on it. It's gonna, you know, it's just them inflating and deflating during a time lapse. But um, yeah, so again, I, I recommend the Normatec boots and the boot bag. Um, definitely check it out and see what you think. Uh, if you have any questions or you wanna ask a little bit more information about the Normatec Pulse 2.0s, Shoot me a message at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Desmond from Massage Pro Medical and I'll see you on the next one.